Good morning, folks. Today we're going over EMF impact on bees, confirmation of a rapid electromagnetic solar forcing, and of course, we're going over everything space weather related with lots of sunspots and CME impact forecast for later this afternoon. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find it was a much quieter day in terms of eruptive activity. We're seeing the sunspots beginning to decay, solar flaring is beginning to drop back out, leaving coronal holes facing the Earth today and tomorrow. The drop in solar flaring was gradual, as you see here, X-class flare to kick off the day yesterday, now can't even make it up out of C-class range. The sunspots are smaller, decaying, and one of the bigger groups is departing, turning out of view. But of course, the eruptive activity that already took place could be relevant today. The official forecast is for a double impact tonight, triggering level 2 or 3 geomagnetic storm conditions. This is not something to get scared about, but it is a good opportunity to see how the magnetic field handles what ends up coming in the solar wind. The impact window actually extends to tomorrow morning, but we've got eyes open for those shockwave signatures starting tonight. And by this weekend, the story in space weather will be the enhanced streams from these coronal holes. It also jacks up the solar factors associated with earthquake watches as we magnetically connect over the next four days. We're off to page 40 of our textbook supplement, the first rapid, nearly instantaneous, light speed forcing reports of the sun on the ionosphere. It's an electric layer that distributes energy across itself, kind of like how you don't have to get hit by lightning if the swimming pool you're in gets hit, you're in that system and you're going to feel it right away. That's what we're discussing here. Immediate and global scale forcing of the ionosphere during solar activity, which then impacts the global electric circuit, which can touch any weather across the world in moments. This is the solar forcing they're missing from their models. Despite the papers, they refuse to let this one into climate science. Lastly, folks, honeybees and non-ionizing EMF radiation. Both behavioral and psychological changes occur when exposure to EMF changes. The specific frequencies here are the same ones that are played with when the sun causes a geomagnetic storm and a global magnetic reverberation occurs, and also like those made from human technology. You know, between us and the magnetic pole shift, bees have their work cut out for them. Folks, the monthly special for subscribers of the Observer Review e-magazine is coming tomorrow, January 1st. If you don't have a subscription yet, sign up before then and you'll get the entire 2024 catalog. It is hundreds of pages of Observer tailored science. Sign up at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.